are celebrating. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and we have the team from Tacos de la Madre this Taco Tuesday. Herson Pedro and Chef Bertha are here. Bertha's been working hard. Bertha, thank you. And I know Tacos de la Madre is really a dream of Bertha's. She started cooking in the kitchen, selling tacos out of the home during the pandemic when uh, the pandemic happened. Yes. Um, so, you know, it came to a time where a lot of us had a lot of free time. Right. <laughs> um, you know, we were, we were together more, and we decided that, you know, great chef wants to keep cooking. We started making tacos in the backyard. Come on up here. Um, come on. She's nervous. Bertha did not want to have a microphone on, but she did an incredible job. The food is delicious, and I can taste the love in all the bites mm. of the deliciousness. Yes, Thank and, you know, you. little Thank by you. little we grew. Um, mm -hmm. the we, we started making it on TikTok. Uh, we, got, we went viral a few times. Oh, amazing. Um, little by little, we outgrew the house. Um, there was too much of a line for a house and right. for a neighborhood. Uh, we moved over to a Holiday Inn where they allowed us to use their kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was empty anyways because they were closed, so we were able to make that happen until we found our permanent home in College Park, which we're serving out of now. Yeah. We're so happy, and I know you can't tell us the location, but you're expanding even more. There's going to be a second Tacos a la Madre yes. opening. Yes. Yeah. Even though you can't tell us, do you promise to come to Lion Lunch Hour first when you get ready to tell us? So yes. we can break that here in our uh, ear. We'll definitely break it here, but you can always follow <laughs> us on Instagram as well, at Tacos a la Madre. Um, so you can also find out uh, where the new location will be. Mm. I want to talk, too, about Hispanic Heritage Month mm -hmm. and how it's definitely grown and been more embraced yeah. here in our country. Uh, what does that mean to you for your heritage and also your business as well? Yeah, you know, it, it comes with um, obviously the heritage, right? You, you inherit what you inherit, and, and we, we live it day by day. One thing that having a business has opened, us for, uh, opened doors for is helping and giving back to our community. Right. Um, last year especially, a lot of um, organizations, a lot of even um, government personnel was coming out, you know, because they also want to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, and they reached out to us because, we, you know, we do tacos, but we also have an expanded menu of, to Hispanic food. Right. Um, and little by little, we've gotten um, back to our community. We've donated food to a lot of schools. Um, even now, we, we're donating, you know, we're donating, we're giving time and resources to these schools back to our community, not only back to our community, but to the people that are celebrating our community. Right. And that's something that we really love to do um, and we continue to do as we... And essentially being a part of it, you know, yeah. it's for everyone. So I'm looking here at our counter. We have so oh. much. And I have to ask you, Pedro, you too, your favorite item on your menu. You can only choose <laughs> one. My favorite item will have to be the tinga tacos. Oh, the tinga oh. tacos. Yes. Okay, we'll have to try those. I know why. Oh, and we'll see if we can get a camera to come back in the kitchen because we're going to do a demo on building one of those delicious tacos too, mm. Marissa. And also we have these beef tacos right here. The beer tacos, How do yes. we dip, dip them? What should I do? So, yeah, you could definitely grab it. Okay. Um, and if you want to on your salad, and you just dip it as much as you want. Oh, look at that gravy. This oh is sure, delicious. Make sure you're not mm. wearing clothes you want to keep. This is uh, why you're opening a second location so fast, mm. right there. Oh my God. That looks yummy. Yes. So good. Oh, wow. I want to double dip, but I won't because I love you. <laughs> well, we got extra another one bowls. For you. We yes, and there's another bowl yes. for you. We do have more as well. Wow. So this is the beer taco itself, and then the consomme is actually the broth that is cooked in. Mm -hmm. that, then it's a du you double dip it within itself mm. uh, for more flavor. So it's like a soup. And, and you know, some people use mm. that as a soup as well. Look at uh -oh. this juice. You this know what? At least it will match your dress. That's the good part. <laughs> you know, I'm the sushi. Yeah, it's oh, really thank you so much, Pedro. Oh, I didn't hear from you. Your favorite. I want to know your favorite item. My favorite is the shrimp. Mm. Oh, Hands down, wow. the shrimp. Wow. Based off the seasoning that La Madre has put into it. It's a family recipe that mm. has been passed down, and she's kept it on point. It's very good. Excellent. This, this is, is next insane. level taco You know Tuesday. when it gets quiet and everybody's waiting for the other person to ask a question because we just want to enjoy the Well, we don't want to chew and talk with our mouth wide like I'm doing now. And because it gives you that, like, happy dance taco <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Take that dance with you to Tacos a la Madre. Thank you so much for joining us. Super, super tasty, and we're so happy mm, for your success you. in a relatively short period of time. Mm -hmm. And I certainly can see why. All right.